Tucked away in the snow-crested mountains in the northeast of Pakistan, Hunza Valley's natural grandeur and positioning has attracted travelers, mountaineers, and merchants over hundreds of years. Apart from its majestic glaciers, turquoise lakes, and apricot farms, the region is exceptionally rich in its cultural heritage. Hunza is primarily famous for the two fortresses it holds that avidly reflect its culture, and the journey started with the exploration of the famous Altith Fort. Embedded into a cliff above Hunza River, Altith Fort is a mammoth structure that spreads its magic. The fort opens up on a view to die for. A panoramic landscape of the Nagar Valley with the blue strip of river and the grey road alongside. The fort is surrounded by picturesque sceneries, huge gardens and a variety of local shops in the narrow streets leading to it. Royal gardens make up the fort's entrance with an apricot orchard grown over vast irregular fields. The path that leads through the gardens to the fort is filled with sawdust. Altit means this side down. This walled fort happens to be the strongest structure of its time. It also considered to be the birthplace and the capital of the state of Hunza. Its architecture makes it one of the most astonishing structures of its time. The doors were purposely built at five feet height to stop the enemies from entering the fort. The skillfully crafted wooden doors, windows and stairs have been restored amazingly. Yet they whisper tales of the times they have been witness to. The vessels and utensils used by the royal family are on display. The story of Altith Fort is full of history. The remains of these preserved buildings tell a lot about the lifestyle of the people who used to live here. The structure, made of stone, sand and wood, has stood tall in the face of numerous earthquakes. One's imagination is taken back to the times prevalent almost a thousand years ago. I'm amazed that such intelligent minds would have conceived such an architectural design that still stands today. The fort was a watch over the entire valley. Built over 1,000 feet above Hunza River, the fort's only tower was built for strategic monitoring of the entire land, particularly during times of war. It is for this reason the tower is known as the Shikari Tower. It's astonishing that the tower was used for another purpose other than keeping a bird's eye view. It was used to throw off prisoners who were serving a death sentence. Altit's strategic positioning must have been an advantage during the war times. It is beautiful but horrifying as well. People of those times have created a wonder of the world that captures you in the moment. It was amazing to witness the grand fortress that Altit is. Carpeted Karakuram Highway is a smooth ride from the magnificent tunnels passing the lake as you move north of Karimabad towards the Athabad Lake. These amazing tunnels are a piece of modern architecture and enable safe travelling as the area is prone to landsliding. Athabad tunnels open new gateways of tourism in the region. The realignment project happens to be a masterpiece that restored the link between Pakistan and China. 
After the tragedy that led to the formation of Atabad Lake in 2010, a huge portion of the giant Karakuram Highway was submerged in water. Atabad Lake does not have a romantic story regarding its formation. Three gigantic glaciers, including a 35-mile-long Batura glacier, are positioned over the flooded towns. In the springtime, the snow melts down from the mountains into the lake. The turquoise Atabad Lake is a wonder in its own might. It is a beautiful lake that adds magic to the serene views of Hunza. One can never imagine that a disaster can also be beautiful. And Atabad Lake is a prime example of that. Spread over 700 meters with depth of 300 meters, this lake is nestled in the rocky mountains of Hunza Valley. Boating on the Atabad amidst the mountains, one sees how trivial everything is. The space you occupy in the world. The calm waters are also teaching a very important lesson. Don't stop, pave your way and conquer it all. The stunning mountains around are set out like a perfect panorama, framed by the steel grey of the waters of Atabad Lake, making it a perfect painting. Travelling helps so much with learning, but it is important to live responsibly. Sustainable tourism is the only way forward. Hunza is in the top 10 tourist destination in the world. There are many other places like Ghizar, which we have gone, and there are new valleys discovered. So if 1 crore people can come to Hunza in 100 years, this means that in 1 year, we should come to 1 lakh people in Hunza. How does this come out? It comes out that you need to have a place in a place where you have to have accommodation. And the accommodation you have made is not a concrete structure. How can you make the accommodation that the environment of Hunza can make a place in a place? Can you add one place or one lakh people? So you have to see the accommodation of the accommodation. Number two, there is a clinical facility, bedding. How much is the bed for hospital? For 10 to 20 people, there should be a bed. So if 1 lakh people have come and 20 people, it means that we need 5,000 beds. 5,000 beds हैं। फिर इस तरह पानी, एक लाख लोगों के लिए कितना पानी चाहिए, कितना फ्यूल चाहिए, कितना खाना चाहिए, इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कितना चाहिए। तो ये सारी चीज देखने के लिए हमने हुंजा को देखना है कि हुंजा में अगर एक साल में एक लाख लोग आ सकते हैं, तो एक लाख से ज़्यादा लोग मत आएं। क्योंकि अगर एक लाख से ज़्यादा लोग आएंगे तो वो उस जगह को उस कमोडिटी को जो हुंजा एक टूरिज्म के लिए कमोडिटी है उसको तेजी के साथ डिप्लीट करेगी और उसकी एनवायरनमेंट को उसकी वैल्यूज को उसके इकोसिस्टम को उसके लोगों को उसके कल्चर को हर चीज को तबाह किया जाएगा if we start with ABE Nisho right from the beginning, we start to develop the guidelines of sustainable tourism. So let me tell you that this place will be safe, the scenic beauty will give us, we will give a good environment, we will also protect people, we will protect their values and culture, and this will be very far away from its success. Karakuram Highway snakes its way through the Cathedral Range, also known as the Pasu Cones offering a view to remember for a lifetime. The fairy tale magic of Pasu is incomparable. Being one of the most striking landscapes on the Karakoram Highway, the jagged peaks are a captivating sight. Spectacular basu cones seem like distant wallpaper that will soon be within reach. The sun-swallowing mountains reflect the last rays shimmering off the golden bronze rock. There are many places to see in the Gilgit Baldistan region, but a special place called Basu Hunza is an amazing destination. Basu is extremely famous for tourists from all over the world. The Cathedral Peaks, also known as Pasu Cones, are one of the most striking landmarks on planet Earth. When you are travelling on the Karakram Highway between Hunza and Khunjrab Top, these individual peaks welcome you with their grandeur. Pasu Village is positioned between Hunza and Sust, adjacent to Khunjrab Pass, from where the border of China 
is on the distance of a few kilometers. At one particular bend along the road, a small restaurant is located at a hilltop facing the sheer cliff walls of the mighty cones. Betting on who climbs the stairs without stopping, it was so much fun to help Maliha acknowledge the lesser known beauty of her home country. Local dishes in Hunza are an amalgamation of wheat, butter, milk and apricot oil. Sounds fatty but extremely delicious. Famous for seasonal fresh foods, Hunza offers the tastiest apricots that are transported all over the country. The beauty of the area was stunning with serenity all over. A long walk alongside such magnanimity was pure magic. How small this world and its problems are. Try playing conga drums under the swirling clouds, playing hide and seek with the craggy spires and help your soul feel refreshed to the core. Going south of Pasu at an altitude of 2,600 meters, the exotic Borit Lake welcomes you. The lake can be reached via a two-kilometer unpaved jeep route from Husseini village or a three-hour trekking route directly from Kulkin. It's freezing. I can't believe I trek now to the Boyd Lake and it's right beside me. And it's full of color and so beautiful. It's deep sea green blue and it's all worth it. As you trek to the lake along the roadside, it is unveiled how some of the magical wonders might be hidden on the unseen sides that are often forgotten. Pakistan trekkers ke liye jannat hai. यहाँ आसान मुश्किल और इंतहाई मुश्किल हर किस्म के ट्रैक्स पाए जाते हैं मेरी हर पाकिस्तानी से रिक्वेस्ट है कि वो ट्रैकिंग को अपनी जिंदगी का हिस्सा बनाए ताकि नेगेटिव लाइफस्टाइल में तोजन पैदा किया जा सके हाइकर्स कैन फॉलो द ट्रैकिंग रूट टूवर्ड्स बोरित लेक एज फार एज दी एज ऑफ द ग्लेशियर एंड रिटर्न बाय द सेम रूट Hunza has an abundance of precious stones and is famous all over the world for the stones extracted from its mountains. We came to know the raw stones are brought to the shops and carved into various shapes. Ruby, sapphire and quartz are very popular in this region. Almost all visitors stop to shop for the local stones to take with them memorable belongings to recall their visit. Maliha wanted to explore the local shops so she could take back souvenirs as memories from Hunza. Karima Bath town is dominated by tourist attractions, restaurants, hotels and travel agencies. Shawls and woolen caps are also very famous in Hunza. The traditional caps of Gilgit Baltistan are flat and plain and they provide warmth against the chilly winds. While you enjoy the overall ambiance of the town, there's a small shop that is run by a woman. It is pleasing to see women empowerment in such a remote area of Pakistan. The woman is passionate about serving local food to the tourists. She pours her heart in the dish and it's quite evident. Every year, many foreign tourists visit Gilgit Baltistan who are fascinated by the eternal beauty of the valleys and want to explore more. Tourism is all about culture, food and experience. I had a delicious chamshuro from this very nice lady who only serves organic food. She is a prime example of ecotourism as she spoke about the use of natural ingredients, a healthy lifestyle and organic food. 
Her passion and dedication should be used as an example everywhere.